remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. From across six geopolitical zones of Nigeria, supporters of Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswil Akwabio, converged recently in the Rafia city of Ikotak Bene Akwaibum State to witness his historic declaration of interest to contest the 2023 presidential election. During the epoch-making event, Senator Goswil Akwabio, a former governor of Akwaibum State and one-time Senate minority leader, said his presidency would restore the dignity of Nigerians in the Committee of Nations. I, Senator Dr. On Wednesday, the 4th of May, 2022, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godswill Akbabio, formally declared his intention to contest the 2023 presidential election on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, APC. At the Ikot Ekwene Township Stadium, venue of his declaration, Akbabio assured Nigerians that his presidency would foster unity in the country and restore their dignity in the international community. The message is not only a message of hope. It's not only a message of positive continuity. It is also a message of restoration of your dignity, of your respect within the ECOWAS region, within the African nation and the rest of the world. In the 2023 presidential race are many aspirants seeking to pilot the affairs of the world's largest black nation. Undoubtedly, Senator Akbabio stands out as one man with a proven track record and the requisite leadership qualities to make Nigeria great again. After holding sway as commissioner in three strategic ministries, Senator Akbabio was elected governor of Akwaibom State in 2007. Aware of the fact that his governorship of Akwaibom State was a collective decision of the people, Akbabio rolled his sleeves and went to work to restore the dignity of Akwaibomites. As representatives of various women groups present at his declaration submit, Akbabio had completely transformed Akwaibom State by 2015 when he left office. He gave us a lot of infrastructures. I can't begin to count them. It was not tribalistic. Um, he tried to carry the women along. So personally, I think he's, uh, he's the best candidate for the presidential uh, position for the country. I, I'll give him my support. We need somebody like uh, Ababio, especially at this critical time in, the, in Nigeria. We need him to come and do what he did in Akwaibom State. Everybody wants him. Everybody needs a person like him. Also present at Akbabio's recent declaration were representatives of youth bodies from across the six geopolitical zones of the Nigerian Federation. According to the youths, they are rooting for Akbabio on account of his charismatic leadership style. And I'm actually a PDP member, but for the love of divide politics, the divide uh, party sentiment, I just had to come here to show my support to my favorite politician. He's, he's a unifier. And what Nigeria needs at this time, we need a unifier. And he's one of it. Based on the people I saw here, almost from every part of Nigeria, where I can see the Hausas, the Yorubas, the Igbo, so he deserves to be the main candidate if APC wants to win 2023 election by the grace of God. Upon completion of two terms of eight years as governor, Akbabio was in 2015 elected to represent Akwaibom Northwest Senatorial District in the Senate. Although he was not a ranking senator, the former governor of Akwaibom State was nominated and ratified Senate Minority Leader in recognition of his sterling leadership qualities. In August 2015, Senator Akbabio realigned himself politically when he defected to the All Progressives Congress where he was welcomed with open arms. It was also in recognition of his commitment to quality service delivery that President Muhammad Buhari appointed him Minister of Niger Delta Affairs in August 2019. Since then, Senator Akbabio has worked tirelessly to invigorate the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs and the NDDC, which has witnessed significant transformation under his supervision. 
Senior Special Assistant to the President on Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Ita Enang, and former spokesperson of the House of Representatives, Honorable Eseme Eibo, are convinced that with Senator Godswill Akbabio at the helm of affairs, Nigeria will be transformed for the common good of the people. There have been several discussions on peace building and how to create a Nigeria way in the heart of it. The issue of social justice, the issue of freedom and liberties will be discussed. And of course, this, the discussion ends today by the declaration of God's will and Because he has a pedigree, an outstanding pedigree, when it comes to transformational leadership. He has made a mark as governor of Akwaibom State. When you see the landmark project that he did, which encouraged Mr. President to make him the uh, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs. And he has shown capacity in the entirety of it. He has shown class. He has also shown uh, um, ASEAN and something that is ebullient about him. Senator Godswill Obot Akbabio, commander of the Order of the Niger, is a recipient of an award in recognition of his infrastructural renaissance, courtesy of the United States Congress, and is the only Nigerian governor to have been honored by the Nigerian Defense Academy with a Doctor of Philosophy in Management. In the 2023 presidential race, Senator Akbabio has many other aspirants to contend with to get the nomination of his party. It is, however, important to note that in arriving at the choice of a standard bearer, experience and competence count. And these are the attributes Senator Akbabio has going for him. Inside the Niger Delta, 